Here is our next kanji. We're going to be working on a similar principle uh, as we did with 10. But first, let's draw this. This is the most strokes you've ever had in a kanji. Not like it really matters. Ready? Make that long line up top. Make a small little line slanting a little over to the left, uh, right from the middle of that. And then you're going to make this next bit go line over to the left. Then you make that one stroke. And then you make those two strokes to uh, those two lines right there to make kind of like two rectangles and the little ends on the bottom are normal. This kanji connotes the concept of 100 or more specifically 100. The idea is by itself it means 100 and when used in larger numbers it takes the 100 place value. The readings for this kanji are few and pretty simple. Hyaku, Byaku, and Momo. By itself, it's read as Hyaku and means 100. So how do you think we say 200? It's the same idea. Put 2 in front of 100 to get Ni Hyaku, which is 200. Now, as with everything else, it's basically the same thing. You just say the number in front of 100 to say it properly. Uh, there is one slight exception where the reading changes just a little bit for 300. 300 is not sanhyaku. That's incorrect. It's sanbyaku. Now, it's the only case where it occurs, but... Here's the thing that you just have to keep in mind. 300 uses a different reading of 100. It uses byaku instead of hyaku. Interestingly enough, sanbyaku is also used to mean many. It doesn't literally mean many, but if you want to say, like, you know, in English we say, oh, there was a thousand of them, there were a, there's a million things I have to do for homework. They tend to use sanbyaku. There are 300 things I have to do for homework. They just use this number a lot. Uh, yeah. Also, for 400, you don't say shihyaku. At least I've never heard it. I would definitely stick to yonhyaku. It sounds nicer anyway. But for everything else, it's just gohyaku, rokhyaku, shichihyaku, or nanahyaku. Either one sounds kind of interesting, but they're both correct. Hachihyaku and Kyuhyaku. Now, Kyuhyaku is not the largest number you can count to with this information. Remember that there are numbers in between 100 and 200. 101, 102, 103. So, in order to include those other numbers, you just add them on. So, the largest number you knew before this was 99. So you would just take 99 and put it after 900 to get 999. That's five kanji in total. And so that's your largest kanji grouping right now. So here you have your largest number that you can now say. 999, which is 9 followed by 100, followed by 9 again, followed by 10, followed by 9 one last time. And in order to say it, it's a bit of a tongue twister, but you can do it. 999 in Japanese is Q That's how you say it. There's no way around it. Q So that is the kanji for 100. We have one more numerical kanji on this grade level that I'm currently teaching you. 
So we have the tens, we have the hundreds. So what do you think will come after the hundreds? Just using logic. Get ready for that next time. This is Angel of Crepusculence signing off. Thank you.